Good morning, Keto Kin. Welcome to Keto Craft. This morning, I'm standing in the sunroom, which is my storage room, because it is so freaking cold outside. And, or in my house. In my house. Not outside. In my house. It's beautiful right here. In my house, freezing cold. Ugh. So, I'm having trouble getting started today because I'm so cold and my heater's not going on. So, I am standing out here for the time being and then I'm going to go in, make breakfast and fat bombs and all that other kind of stuff. So, I decided on bulletproof coffee. I'm making a French press bulletproof coffee right now. Um, and I'm going to really try to focus on fats because um, I've been getting a lot of protein in and some fat, but I haven't met my fat goals every day. So I'm really going to work on that today. So I'll probably have some bulletproof coffee and then maybe later on if I get snacky, some bacon. Um, and just really go for the fats today. And uh, even make some fat bombs. Okay, so to make this bulletproof coffee that I'm going to make, you're going to need heavy whipping cream, a frother or some sort of a blender, Kerrygold butter, stevia, and some coconut oil. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished my bulletproof coffee and I'm still hungry so I am going to go ahead and make breakfast. I think just simple bacon and eggs would be good um, so we'll see uh, but that bulletproof coffee was amazing I made it in my new French press which you can now see over there that is a Boge French press and it was in the mini hall which will be or, yeah, in the mini hall, which will be over here somewhere, I think. Or right up there. I'm usually doing this at my desk. So I think it's over this way. There! It's there! <laughs> so, um, yeah, breakfast and then daily stuff. So, like, if you're a foodie, isn't cheese just, like, porn right there? Like, look at this. Look at this sexy beast right there. Can't you hear like the porn music starting? Like it's Gouda, baby. <laughs> cooking which has awoken the fluffy puff so I'm gonna finish this omelette and then we will have an awesome breakfast so usually my omelettes come out looking like crap but today they are looking awesome so yummy yummy gouda cheese on my eggs and I'm a happy girl so I'm trying to go lighter on my bacon so I'm only doing two pieces today uh, for breakfast anyway I don't know if I'm gonna have any more bacon but I'm really trying to work on just getting the fat in today. So, got my bacon for my breakfast, and then I will go and eat. First meal of the day, bacon and eggs. And some water. I was nice enough to put my, my water 
in the fridge for me last night. So I'm so good to me sometimes. Be good to yourselves, guys. Until lunch. Hey guys, it's about 2.30 or so. And I thought I would just check in with you guys and let you know kind of how I'm feeling right now. So again, there is this um, weirdness with my tummy. I don't know what's going on here. Um, but at least, at least once a day for a little while, I'll feel a little nauseated and I don't know why. It's just like a stomach thing. I don't know. I mean, I have a sensitive stomach to begin with. So I don't know if, if going keto is like, there's some stuff going on down there where it's like, what's this new stuff? What are we doing now? Um, I don't know what that is about. So that's going on right now. And, um, my nose has been stuffy all day. Um, so, um, it, this usually doesn't last. This stomach thing usually doesn't last. It comes for maybe about 45 minutes or so and then it will go away. Um, but I'm really full from breakfast. And I, it's probably, it's 2.30 now and I don't feel like I'm going to eat until maybe dinner time. And if I do, I'll probably grab a bulletproof coffee and that'll be that. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on with me. I am just doing some work right now, and, um, yeah. So, I just wanted to put this out there. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'll put the link in the description, because I haven't been. But I've been posting, like, um, all the stuff that I've been eating throughout the day. Um, so if you kind of just want to get a quick peek at what I'm doing, um, I will post that there. So, I will see you guys at dinner. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm pretty much going to have what I had yesterday, but I'm going to make a dessert because I have been wanting something sweet, and I may make fat bombs later on tonight, but for something quick and easy, I am going to make a chocolate mousse. So for this, I'm just going to need some heavy whipping cream, and this is the Countryside Creamery uh, Rich and Creamy. Um, heavy whipping cream and I am going to use Hershey's real 100% unsweetened cocoa and now this has three carbs but I believe it has two dietary fiber yeah see total carbs three grams fi dietary fiber two grams so that's one net carb for two tablespoons And then I'm going to use roughly about 5 to 10 drops of vanilla creme sweet leaf stevia. And yeah, so that's what I'm about this evening. So here is my chocolate mousse. And so the measurements are, because I did some tweaking of the measurements. So I used one cup of heavy cream to one nicely sized tablespoon of chocolate. And it gave me like and uh, about 10 drops of stevia and it gave me a nice dark chocolate taste if you want something that's a little bit lighter on the chocolate so it's not so dark use maybe about a half a tablespoon and you'll be set to go so this is awesome I'm gonna put this in the fridge to chill while I ate my dinner and yeah that's pretty much me done for the day so thank you guys for watching um, I am going to post all the macros that I can from my fitness pal in the description or in the at the end of the video and then if you want the actual recipe you can follow me on tumblr at ketocraft.tumblr.com and also if you want to see the stuff that I cook during the day you can follow me on Instagram at cult of spin everything will be in the description and yeah so thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time